bruv, you are having a bubble. Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to a video about the top 50 players in next year's Ultimate Team. Now, if you are looking to buy some very cheap Ultimate Team coins, check out futcoinemporium.com. Links will be in the description below and if you could drop this video a like, it would be massively appreciated. Now, these ratings are confirmed by EA and the stats will be pretty official next year. So, don't blame me if one of your players has been downgraded. These are EA's ratings. But at number 50, we do have Muller going from a centre attacking mid to a right mid. Still high, high work rates, which will kill him in my opinion. But Sergio Busquets and his passing stat is still so underrated anyone who watches football know this guy's passing is outstanding pedro now he had high high work rates last year which made him unusable but this year high low perfect for pedro and at 47 marco royce 85 rated from 84 86 shot on him just going to be crazy hazard downgraded by two going back down to his fifa 12 rating unfortunately still great stats though so will be great to use next year vidal 85 should have been 86 in my opinion but still a great player and next up we do have Hummels from Borussia Dortmund, 65 pace, which in my opinion is more than enough for a centre back anyway, and he is so strong. But Modric coming in at number 43, taking a minus one hit. His defending has gone up because he's played in a more deeper role for Madrid this season. Benzema minus two is Real Madrid teammate, and yeah, that is pretty much deserved. Although he got quite a lot of assists last season, so his passing should be higher. Ezekiel Lavetsi, 86 rated last year, 85. And here coming in at number 41, his pace has gone down drastically to 88. Well, not drastically, but still from 93 to 88. Santi Cazorla, in my opinion, should have been 86. If you do disagree with some of these ratings, you know, leave them in the comment section below. That is fine. You know, these are EA's ratings and not mine. Jesus Navas, 85 rated, will be so good next year. So quick, four star skill moves and some good, good work rates there. High medium is pretty good for a right winger. Petr Cech going up from an 84 to an 85, which is fully deserved. One of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League. Six foot five will be so good next year. And Xavi Alonso, 87 rated last year. I think he was going down, but you know, that is fully deserved. He's aging a bit, but still, he does have some great passing on him. Ashley Cole, 85 rated, going down in pace to 76. Still one of the best left backs in the world, despite his attitude, in my opinion. But yeah, Lewandowski, 86, and his shooting doesn't make sense to me. 78, I know his free kick stat and his curve will probably bring his shooting down. That is probably the answer, but 78 shooting is a bit harsh. Should be higher, in my opinion. Four-star skill moves on him, too. Angal Di Maria, or the Holy One, as Joe Weller likes to call him. Four-star skill moves, that two-star weak foot, though. Staying at 86 rated. Now, this is a surprising one. Luis Suarez staying at the same rating, which is a bit odd to me because he had a fantastic season. Should be at least an 87 or an 88. A lot of people will agree with me there. And Manuel Neuer also going down even though he didn't have much to do last season for Bayern he is still the world's top keeper in my opinion very cocky and very good and Cesc Fabregas going down to 86 again slightly harsh I mean he scored quite a lot of goals for Barca last season got quite a lot of assists Sergio Ramos getting his pace back up to 80 which is awesome will be pretty expensive next year but taking a downgrade in rating to 86 Gerard Piquet also staying at 86 you know he's not the fastest but in my opinion, he's a rock in defence. His high attacking work rate does ruin him sometimes. Though. Mario Gomez transferred to Serie A now. For Fiorentina, still a great player. I mean, 79 pace. He'll be so strong with that pace. And I can see him being used in so many Serie A teams, along with Carlos Tevez, staying at 86, one of Man City's best players last year. High, high work rates could ruin him, though, in my opinion. Vincent Company, 86 rated, still pacey, still great defending, and his heading's gone up too, so he'll be great to use. Also, great passing on him for a centre back. Chiellini finally going up to a rating he definitely deserves. 84 rated he was last year to 86, going down in pace, but still very strong and very good defensively. Yaya Torre staying at the same rating, pretty similar stats to his stats last season. And yeah, high defensive work rate will be such a great CDM. Pirlo taking a hit from 87 to 86, aging now, but still a wonderful player to watch. 91 passing, and I'm sure his free kicks will be deadly. Casillas, uh, this is quite harsh in my opinion, 89 to 86. I know he didn't play too much last season, but he is just a fantastic goalkeeper. So yeah, he'll be interesting in next year's game. Along with this guy, Buffon, obviously a top, top goalkeeper, staying at 86 rated, got some great stats on him. 90 
diving on him. So yeah, will be great. Edison Cavani recently transferred to Paris Saint-Germain, going up to 87 rated high high work rates again. But I don't know if that will ruin him or not. We're gonna have to see how that comes out in the game. Juan Mata coming at 19, 87 rated should be 88 in his passing, still so underrated. Arsenal's new signing, so excited to see this guy play in the Premier League. And a 76 pace on him, 85 passing should be more because of the amount of assists and this card. Oh my God, Gareth Bale centre forward, 93 pace. 84 shooting, Jesus. That is going to be a card over a million, guaranteed. Thiago Silva staying 87 rated, losing a bit of pace, but still great defensively. And in my opinion, he is the best defender in the world. So yeah, let me know who you think is the best. Vidic staying at 87, I think he should be lower than that. I mean, he's not had the greatest of times recently, but still a rock solid player. And let's hope he is great this season. Philip Lahm, 87 rated, staying the same rating, losing a bit of pace, but still 84 passing on him, 82 defending will be a great ride back. I'm sure great passing on him. Wayne Rooney taking a minus two hit coming in at number 13 and 87 rated. Still some great stats on him if you play him as a center attacking mid high high work rates. Perfect position for him in my opinion. David Silva keeping his 88 rating and that is pretty much deserved. I'm not sure he had the best of seasons last year. Not as good as before but still you know you can't doubt his talents. Absolutely such a magician and great to watch his Man City partner Aguero and this is surprising going up to 88. I know he didn't do too much last season so I'm not sure why he's gone up but Schweinsteiger another one who definitely deserves to go up. One of the best but actually the best box to box midfielder going and Iron Robin his Bayern Munich teammate coming in at number 9. 88 rated 92 pace quick as hell still at his age high low work rates perfect player Zlatan going up from 88 to 89 which is awesome should be 90 in my opinion I mean he is one of the world's greatest strikers Xavi going down to 89 I think that's deserved he's aging now didn't have like the greatest season last year for Barca 92 passing and his defending has gone up a bit so still a decent card and Robin Van Persie what a season he had last year winning the title with Manchester United going up to 89 fully fully deserved for him Iniesta going down but check out his position centre mid from left wing so his price is going to be high again 91 passing on him what an awesome card Radam Alfalcao now he's the highest rated striker in this game so yeah it'll be interesting to use losing his five star weak foot which is unfortunate so I'm not quite sure why he has his left foot is deadly but now we move on to the top three players and Frank Ribéry of course the European player of the year this year fully deserved absolutely outstanding his passing should be higher staying at 90 now the big boy himself Cristiano Ronaldo his pace has finally gone up to 93 which is awesome some great stats on him obviously the best player in the game probably with them stats and skills he will just be unreal now number one obviously the best player in the world in my opinion you could think differently leave a comment in the comment section below if you think Ronaldo is better personally for me Lionel Messi and his pace has gone down that's deserved in my opinion Ronaldo should be faster than him but yeah 94 rated will be a god obviously and his dribbling was just insane on last year's FIFA some people didn't like using him but I did but anyway guys that is the end of the video hope you did enjoy if you did please drop a like drop a comment and I will see you soon take care